विच टेस्ट केस नॉट टू बी ऑटोमेट टेस्ट केसेस दैट आर न्यूली डिजाइंड एंड नॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड मैनुअली एट लिस्ट वन सी ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग एक्चुअली हैपन्स ऑन द स्टेबल एनवायरमेंट सो वंस द एनवायरमेंट इज ए स्टेबल फॉर यू एंड देर इज ए नो a uh, change is coming in that particular environment or not frequently changes are coming in that environment so that kind of a uh, application you should automate first of all because if there is a requirement is changing every day your html page is changing and every time new things are adding in that particular page so definitely it will be very difficult for you to rechange your locators because locators will change as the new change is happening on some new functionality has been designed in that application so your locators will change if your locators will change logic will change so definitely your test case will fail and again and again you have to work on your scripts so the most thing is it should be the stable environment for you to automate that and uh, apart from that if suppose environment is stable now and new functionality is coming so at least that new functionality which is coming that should be uh, executed manually at least by the manual testers and it should be the stable one only so after that you should automate the test case otherwise you should not uh, automate the test case because still that is not tested there can be a bug or there can be a change also so in that case uh, uh, your automation will not work in that case the test cases for which requirements are frequently changing so we should not automate that because anyway if any something is changed your automation script definitely will not work you have to again change your script and then you have to rework on the scripts as well so first you should be mostly stable environment stable functionality and then you should be automate on that so i will give you the real example here like in company what we do suppose this is the current sprint that is going on and it is completing suppose on the tomorrow the sprint is completing and tomorrow is the final closer of the sprint by completing all the testings and everything manually has been done and now the state environment stable so what we will do as a automation test we will not write or automate the test case in the current sprint the uh, functionality which was developed in the previous uh, sprint that functionality we will automate in the next sprint because now it is the stable you got the point got it. right so the functionality which is developed in the last sprint that we are automating in the next sprint because it is manually tested in the last sprint and it is working fine and it is stable now so that's how uh, in the company we follow the pattern to automate the test cases in a stable environment with a stable functionality yes en minus en minus 1 sprint formula yes right yes okay. now just one question here like can we do in sprint automation in sprint say in sprint we can do but you no know, it's a uh, if tomorrow something is changing in that no so you again you have to rework on your automation script correct so only the work will increase for you you can do that there is no ten issue maybe you can if you have you are free in uh, in the current sprint you don't have any work so in that case at least you can prepare the uh, template for your test case that uh, you can create the test case in the programming language and the business logic that you need to write maybe that you can write in the next sprint also so that's not an issue so something part of the test case you can develop in the in sprint as well and rest you can develop in the next sprint so incomplete and then it will be incomplete as you said like environment is not stable yes. in the current sprint right right okay. got it thank you okay so this test case should not be automated for us and next uh, yeah next one is the automation testing life cycle because as yesterday i was uh, explaining about the stlc so at that time i told you this is about the common software testing life cycle everything we are doing is like a process for us so here we are doing a automation testing definitely this is a process for us and we will be doing in a designed manner only so that uh, you no know, there should not be havoc and uh, something like that what we are doing it should be a complete cycle for us as well and the automation testing 
so there are basically six phases in our automation testing life cycle as there was in the sglc was there so it is like a similar only but the task will be you know related to, to the automation now so first of all we will determine the scope of our test automation uh, like uh, you was asking that can we achieve the 100 percent of automation so that kind of a thing we will be decide here what we can achieve what kind of a test case we can automate what test case is not possible to automate right and uh, how much should be the scope for our test cases so that all will be decided like the in the uh, test automation once that is decided we will be sele selecting the right tool for our automation which tool in the market there are hundred of tools are there in the market that you can do the automation testing but every tool is having some advantages and the disadvantages now you have to see for your application which one is the best for you because every tool you will pick definitely that that will be having some disadvantage that you can't achieve that or maybe you can't do that uh, with this tool but you have to see what is the client re uh, requirement for our testing for our automation testing so if as per the client requirement you have to do some poc on the particular tool different tools may be required to you have to do the poc so poc is basically a proof of a concept that if we will use this tool everything what is whatever is the requirement to do the automation testing that will be work proper for us on this particular tool and we can achieve that so if we will do the poc we will give the demo of the poc to the client and if client is happy yeah that that is that i am looking for and if we'll give yes that we can uh, go with this particular tool so uh, so we will decide the right tool for our automation in that case so in every company project you will go first of all you have to do the poc for your project you have to create some uh, test scripts with that particular tool and you have to see every action every you know validations are we able to capture the correct locators or not are we able to perform the every actions or not on different elements are we able to generate the report so you have to try all the things on that particular tool and if you're able to do that we and we get some sign off from the client so definitely we will go with that particular tool so there we do the right selection for the particular tools for us and after that once this is designed this is decided we will do the some planning how we will do uh, our automation testing how we will create our framework how, uh, what other external libraries we have to include on our automation framework so all that planning design and strategy how should with our frameworks look like what should be the design and flow of the automation framework so that will be getting decided in the plan designing and strategy once that is there we will set up some test environment there are multiple environments in the project so that also we will set up that this is the url that we have to use some credentials are there for that or multiple environments are there so you have to set up all the environments and all that once that is done you uh, there you have to develop the script now you have to start writing the test cases mm -hmm. so once you will start writing the test cases you have to uh, do the execution whenever there is a deployment is happening and uh, in the last you will do the test analysis and the reporting so how many test cases are passed how many are failed what are the status of the automation test cases and in the last you will report all the you know execution status to your lead your manager or with the client so like how many test cases you have run this time how many bugs you have found this time so that kind of summary also you will send a reporting to your manager in that okay any doubt in that this is okay Our question is like when to choose uh, correct tool like utp or uh, selenium yeah see this in the second phase you have to select the correct tool and it is based yeah. it is based how, on the how on when? see how when i got it how yeah how means to say uh, like uh, this is uh, based on the requirement only as if client will say that uh, i will not pay anything for the tool you have to use a free tool because if you will see qtp is a paid tool for us 
and selenium yes. is a free tool and if client is saying that i can pay to the automation tester for his salary but i can't pay uh, for the tool which uh, will be cost me more and he will yes. ask you to use a free tool that uh, if we can achieve that with the help of free tool then we are good with that i can't pay for that tool so at that time what you will do you will approach to the free source tool in the market and if multiple okay. tools are there in the market which are free and you will try to uh, do some poc with those tools for the requirement okay. and if you are able to achieve with any free source tool then definitely you will uh, confirm that uh, tool and you will selection of the right tool for that so it's also it's all based on the cost time effective tools easiness multiple factors will be there to select the right tool for the automation okay. there are some tools for particular projects they Sorry? only use uh, there are some tools uh, yeah, clients using for particular project they only having tools right Rahul? Yeah, sometimes they develop their own product tools also and they use throughout the multiple products as well because they don't want you know a multiple times to pay for the automation tool so what they do they itself develop one automation tool and they use across the multiple projects so that's how they do the cost effectiveness also in that case right so they will not pay uh, for different different tools and in the to the different people so, so one time they will develop one tool and the same tool they will use across multiple projects and do the cost cutting there yeah. okay okay Rahul. okay now let's go to the next one so i was uh, so there are multiple different automation testing framework